this is my newest aquaponics setup out in the front veranda. Uh, I'll just show you what's going on. So this red tub here, it's going to be my fish tank. So there's a small pump in there. Um, cost me 200 pesos. It's four dollars fifty, and it's going through that yellow tube into my filter. So there's my filter. So it's going from the yellow tube, the water, the fish waste water, into this bottle here, which is uh, a filter to collect solids. That's going to be filled with sponge and cotton wool so the water will come in and that yellow tube goes all the way to the bottom down here and push its way through the, the sponges collecting all the solids it will then come out uh, to this PVC I've got that shape like a uh, it's like a bit of a rectangle the water just drips out into the um, media that I have uh, which is going to act as a biofilter that's going to convert the fish waste into uh, nitrites and the nitrates and at the bottom under there I've got a bit of a reservoir it's about uh, this high supported by some PVC tubing and then, and then the water gets pumped up every half an hour uh, this is just a simple overflow, it goes straight back in um, and then it goes up, 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 along and gets um, pumped into the, the bottles here. So all those bottles, two litre Coke bottles, probably the biggest uh, bottles that I could find. So there's plenty of room for the roots. And there's one that I haven't painted. I'll cover that with aluminium for a bit later, just so I can see what's happening inside. This is the overflow tube here. This tube, or the, the height of this tube, um, is what allows the water to only go to a certain height and not to, not to overflow. So whatever height I want the water, that's how high I make this. Water pressure can be turned up and down with the uh, overflow valve over there, and that um, can actually raise the water up a bit higher because the, 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 the water pressure pushes a bit higher. This hole here is really important, um, that stops the whole system from siphoning. And if that hole wasn't there, it just create a, a siphon, and the water would just would get sucked out of these um, bottles. So the water then goes back, 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 back down here and back into the, uh, the fish tank. So at the moment I've got one of the pumps on. So it's going through the yellow, going through the filter. And this is like an overflow. So it's just a 25 millimetre. Goes straight back in. Just overflowing back in. That'll, that'll circulate that all day. Um, now every half an hour, the other pump will come on, I'll just flick the switch here. And if you have a look at this bottle here. Water will just go into all the bottles. I can adjust the rate that the water goes up and down with uh, turning that on or off. So this overflow is good, creates a bit of oxygen as well, uh, oxygenates the uh, filter which will benefit the bacteria creating the uh, nitrites and nitrates. Now you can avoid having two pumps if this was uh, raised up a bit higher, if it was above the bottles here. Uh, I didn't have the luxury of um, a table or any way of securing the second tub higher so I bought a, just a second pump. The second pump in there it's quite robust, it's uh, 1600, uh, which is a, uh, pretty powerful, and as you can see, the water's coming out with 
quite a bit of speed and it's still enough power to push this water up. So it's just PVC tubing, it costs me about a dollar, dollar thirty for ten feet, ten foot. And then I've got um, some T joints going straight up into a male threaded adapter which threads through the bottom of the coke uh, lid I've just drilled a hole in the bottom and that seems to be working fine I've then got these hose clamps that I've got attached to like a, a spine to make the whole thing more rigid in a system like this that uses a, an overflow it's important to have uh, all of the bottles level uh, just to make sure that the whole system works so there you go, you can see that the, um, the water level is reached its maximum um, because the water is now going up through the overflow and back into the fish tank where it will continue its whole, whole cycle. So this is all got water in them. Uh, so I'm going to have these cups. These are filled with gravel. Right up there, it's just leaking a bit. Lots and lots of holes. Um, I did crack this one, so I've got a bit of mesh across the bottom. So the theory is that the plants will go all the way down here, and then the, the roots will then just be suspended. So, yeah all the way, all the roots, and the roots will get through the holes and then just suspend straight into the water here. But as I say, I'll cover that with aluminium foil so I can see what's happening. I do get a lot more sunlight out here on the front veranda. Um, get all the afternoon sun, we're facing that's uh, due west. So it's a lot of light in the, the afternoons. It's a very modular system. Um, I can remove that end one and just keep it continuing right along the balcony if I wanted to. Um, I'm just starting with these seven bottles at the moment just to, just to experiment and to teach myself. But yeah, you can just keep adding on more PVC as, as far as you want. Okay, well thanks for looking. Um, I'll give you updates soon. Hopefully these uh, the plants will grow, grow, grow and then be um, pretty successful.